Welcome to Snap-on Training Solutions. This module is designed to help you get the most out of your Zeus diagnostic tool and covers the basic setup and controls. I'm Jim Moritz, Global Field Trainer and Sales Support Representative. Before operating, read and understand the safety warnings found in the Important Safety Instructions Manual and User Manual. Press the power button to get started. The unit turns on and automatically launches the diagnostic software suite. The power button also functions as a power status indicator. Red means the battery needs charging. Orange means the battery is charging. Green indicates the battery is charged. The power button also indicates when the diagnostic tool is in sleep mode by blinking red. To enter sleep mode, just press and release the power button. The screen will clear and the power button will blink while in sleep mode. To restart, simply press the power button to continue operation. A capacitive touch screen provides precise menu control and multi-touch gesture capabilities. The S shortcut button can be set up to perform routine functions like capturing a screenshot taking a photo, or opening the on-screen keyboard. To configure the S button, press the S button and hold for three seconds. Select the settings icon from the slide out menu. Choose the function you would like the S button to perform. The active setting is indicated within a yellow highlighted box. A stylus is stored in the built-in holder. The battery pack collapsible stand, removable scope multimeter module, and camera lens are also located on the back. A lithium-ion battery pack is used, providing approximately five hours of operation and days of standby power in ready mode. To replace the battery pack, open the stand. Loosen the two battery pack screws, then carefully pull out on the bottom edge of the battery pack and lift it out. The battery pack is installed in the opposite manner. Be sure to only snug up the screws and don't over tighten. External device connection points are located on the left side under the hinged cover in the hand grip. Two USB jacks are provided, a standard 2.0 and a dual mode 2.0, 3.0. These allow connection to a printer, keyboard, mouse, or other devices. A micro SD card slot is provided for extra memory storage. The power supply and headphone jacks are also located under the cover. To avoid damage, use only the AC power supply that came with the diagnostic tool. The scope multimeter module allows you to perform electrical circuit tests and monitor signals. The module docks into the diagnostic tool and is secured with a lock tab. To undock, depress the lock tab and slide the module up to remove it. With the module undocked, it can now be used remotely. Simply connect the supplied USB cable to the diagnostic tool and then to the USB jack on the bottom of the module. The module is equipped with multiple scope multimeter jacks for testing up to four signals at once and an auxiliary DB9 connector for connecting the optional RPM inductive pickup. The Compact Scan Module, or CSM, connects directly into the vehicle data link connector, or DLC, and then wirelessly transmits vehicle data to the diagnostic tool. The CSM features a built-in alarm that will sound in the event the CSM loses communication with the diagnostic tool and LEDs are used to indicate communication and connection status. The CSM is also equipped with an LED flashlight to help locate DLCs under the dash. Just press the button to use the light. For complete CSM operation details, see the Zeus user manual. Snap-on is dedicated to helping you get the most out of your diagnostic tool and keep your customers happy. Watch the rest of the modules in this Training Solutions series and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel 
so you don't miss the next great product from Snap-on.